just shout one word out, a word that you would describe a traditional, typical amateur salesperson. One word. Manipulative. Okay. It's a good one. Chatty. Okay. Got this table here. Pushy. Rude. Boring. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> okay. Lack of knowledge. Over persistent. Scripted. Don't listen. I would say out of all them words, was there any? Sorry? Coming hunting pairs, exactly. <laughs> yeah. They've got the sat nav on and they're gonna track you down, isn't it? So I think from all them words there, there wasn't many positive words, would you say? A lot of derogatory words, a lot of negative words, okay? So traditional salespeople haven't got a very good reputation, to be quite honest. Okay, that was good. Thanks for that. Okay, so the second step of the seller's system is that after they've qualified the prospect, then they start to do what we call presentations and proposals. So they'll get in front of a prospect, they've qualified them, and then they'll pull a little trolley up, they'll get all the little toys out, graphs, charts, presentations, PowerPoints, and some of the, some of the presentations are phenomenal. You know, <coughs> take days, but, bo <laughs> but, but boring, yeah, we're going for too long. And the key here is, in traditional sales, is two words. They try to sell you features and benefits. That's what they're trying to do, trying to sell you features and benefits. However, the buyer, can challenge the presentations because what they actually do is the buyer will then extract all that information from your proposals and your presentations and in some cases they will then go to one of your competitors and try to beat you up on price. Is there anyone in the room who's, who's ever taken hours, days, weeks putting together a presentation or a proposal only at the end of it to get nothing. Yeah, show hands. Okay, brilliant. That's maybe 70% of the room. Within Sandler, we call that unpaid consulting. So you've invested a lot of your time, money and resources only to find that at the end of it, nothing's happened. Or they've consequently taken it to one of your competitors and tried to drive the price down. This particular step, can go on for some length of time because they might come back to you and actually said, well, the manager's had a meeting and can you just go away with your technical people and get some more information about that and come back to me? And you think, as a traditional salesperson, that you've got a sale, but you haven't. All you're doing is unpaid and free consulting. Okay? Now, after the presentation of the seller's system, the amateur salesperson will try and close the deal. So in their head, they're thinking... I've got a sale here. And they might go back to the boss and say, I've got one of you. I've got one. But we all know that you haven't got one until that check clears in the bank. Yeah? And what they might have to do there is they might close, but then they might have to handle, you might have heard of this phrase, handle stalls and objections. So the reason why they're not going to buy, and they might try and close again. But what the buyer does, they turn around and think, I'm going to think that over. I need to take it to a committee. We need to have a discussion about it. And I'll need to think it over. And when we've thought it over, I'll eventually get back to you. And what did we say at the beginning what a TIO means? A TIO is just a polite way of saying no, isn't it? And the final step is what we call the chase. So traditional salesperson done all the presentations, now he's chasing after the business, okay? Send your emails, send your letters, send you um, faxes or text messages or phone calls, and he's gonna try and chase you down. Well, effectively, as an amateur salesperson, you're stuck in voicemail jail, yeah? Earlier on in the process, they were very willing, when you were doing all this unpaid consulting, to answer your calls, and get back to you and extract all this information from you. But when it comes to the chase, 
every message that you put in the voicemail, delete, delete, delete. Left the country. Can't track them down anywhere. Because ultimately, the buyer has got into what we call hide mode. So effectively, they've disappeared, they've left the building, and essentially, that sale is over. Does any of them processes resonate with anyone in this room? Show of hands. Excellent. So, what you need is a, is a system which becomes what we call a win-win scenario and not where the amateur salesperson is perceived to be in a subservient role to the, to the prospect. Because with this system, the prospect can beat you every time. They've got the answers to it. So, if you would like more information regarding what we do at Sandler and a system that is going to help you to win more sales and win more business and make you feel okay about that, all right? What I'd like to um, open up to the room um, at the moment is the opportunity to attend some business development workshops I'm putting on. Um, they are complementary to yourselves, to business owners or managers or salespeople. Um, and I'm based down at Wynyard. And the date is Wednesday, the 8th of December. It's been between the hours of 2 p.m. and 3.30, so it's not a full afternoon. It'll just be an hour and a half. And it's down at Wynyard Golf Club. It's complimentary, which means there's no cost incurred to you or your business. Now, going back to the sheets that are handed out at the beginning, if that is something that you are genuinely interested in, please circle yes. If it's not, please circle no, and no's fine. Okay, thanks very much for your audience participation. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you could just leave your sheets on the tables, please. It's been brilliant to see you. Um, and I hope to see you at the event on the 8th of December. Thank you.